Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have yet another amazing issue of Ultimate Spider-Man, but with issue number six, I think that we might have the best one yet. It's quick, it's light, it's fast, it's a breeze to get through, and it covers a lot of the moments that I think we were waiting for. So if you enjoy this series and you want more videos like it, make sure to check out the Ultimate Universe podcast playlist where we're covering pretty much everything in Marvel's new Ultimate Universe. So here it is, we have finally arrived in June. This is the time that I believe the Ultimates jumped to before sending the Spider-Man back in time to Peter in issue number one. And right off the bat, we get one of the most, oh sh moments where everyone in the Parker family is sitting down and everyone's looking at Peter like what happened to you and we can see how bloody and cut up and bruised he is and he's just like oh you know I can be clumsy and then all of them are like investigating and looking real close like wondering what happened to him his son's like tell us what happened dad and he says it was nothing I was working late and then that old Parker look reared his ugly head MJ gives him an ice pack and his son continues I just don't get it how do you get a shiner like that at the bugle what actually happened and then his daughter blurts out oh Oh, oh, I know, dad got it from being a superhero. And she realizes she just blew his secret. And then with tears down her face, she says, I'm sorry, dad, I know I wasn't supposed to tell, but it just came out because your face is, look at your face. I didn't think you'd get hurt and now you're hurt and I'm scared. And he cuts her off and says, it's okay, May, I'm fine, really. And then the other two that he'd been keeping the secret from now look at him. MJ's saying, Peter, what is she talking about? How exactly did you get that black eye? And then we flash back a little bit to Fisk getting out of his car, entering his building. And we see up above our two Batmans looking for vengeance, just camped out outside his place ready to go in. Peter a little hesitant saying, I've never broken into anyone's house before. I've never broken a law, any law. And Harry reassures him, it's a necessary evil, Peter. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because Harry's just kind of taking him under his evil wing. They then crash through his glass ceiling with Peter saying, oh great, and now we can just add destruction of property on top of that. They land down face to face with Wilson Fisk and he says, what a surprise. Can't you see how surprised I am? Something you might want to keep in mind for the future. Manhattan is mine and every camera in a three block radius feeds into this building. So I'm aware that you've been watching me for two days. I was beginning to wonder when you were going to invite yourselves in. I was beginning to think I would have to do it myself. Harry turns to Peter and says, see, we were expected. And now that you're here, what do you want? I know that you answer to someone, that this all goes so much deeper than it appears. And we're here to find that out. And how'd you learn something like that? Your assassin told me. We then see Peter in the background saying, what? Fisk sips the last of his drink and says, you pulled it out of him? That and a little more. Well, he wasn't really my guy. I guess the lesson there is if you really want something done, we then see Peter's spidey sense going off saying, wait a second, something's wrong. Fisk then pushes a button and says, do it yourself. We then see a cage form around them. Fisk hurls a side table with drinks on it right at Harry before Peter jumps at him and says, what's wrong with you? Without his armor, that could have probably killed him. Which like, why the hell? Fisk then grabs him and says, that is the idea. He gets a blast from Harry who says, playing for keeps is a dangerous game, Mr. Fisk. There's still time for you to reconsider. And he throws a goblin bomb, whatever they're called, straight at him. A mini explosion happens, his shirt rips off, and we see these weird marks, tattoos on him, kind of similar to what we saw with Bullseye, and he says, normally something like that would hurt, but I've recently had some work done, undergone self-improvement. Here, let me show you, and he charges at him, starts breaking the armor into pieces. He then turns his attention to Spider-Man, pushes him straight into the ground until the glass breaks underneath him and says, you've got my attention now, and then he just starts making light work of Peter, punching him over and over and over again, not letting him breathe for even a moment. Harry then taps a button on his armor, and we see his own little jet coming through and shooting a rocket straight into Fisk Tower, blowing the place up just like he'd done to his car. Harry then grabs him, puts him on the glider, and gets him out of there. And then we jump back to present day, where we see that Peter had actually just admitted all of that to his family, and says, and that is the story of how dad got his butt kicked. His son says, okay, but hold on, you broke into someone's house and tried to beat him up? And Peter just very bluntly says, yeah, isn't that against the law, dad? Yes, exactly, that's what I've been saying. He then continues, but just to be clear, he's a very bad man, doing very bad things. And sure, I'll admit there might also be some professional grievances at play, but someone has to stop him. And uh, that's kind of what I do now. Dad, May says, are you going to have to fight him again? He then looks at her with this black eye and says, well, we can't just let him go on doing bad things to people, right? MJ then joins the conversation. Right, but are you safe? Peter, are we safe? He then takes her by the hand and says, yes, I believe so. No one knows who isn't a friend. I plan to keep it that way. And speaking of, this has to be a family secret. So you guys can't tell anyone else ever. Okay. They all agree. And then May says, don't look at me. I didn't tell anyone for like four whole months. His son then intervenes. How, how have you known for that long? How come I didn't know? And MJ says, what he means is how come we didn't know? And Peter then continues to hold them all in his hands and says, I couldn't find the right time or the right words. And I wasn't sure that 
I'm sorry. I should have. Especially after May found out. His son says, it's okay, dad. All right, off to bed with the two of you. Your mother and I need to talk her a bit. We then cut to Peter and MJ in their bedroom. Peter saying, so I'm afraid to ask, but how mad are you? And she looks at him with her arms crossed and says, Peter, I'm not mad. A lot of confusing stuff is suddenly making sense, but I'm not mad. I do wish you would have told me sooner, but hearing you tell us what happened, scary as it was, I'm mostly proud. He then looks at her and says, you want to see the suit, don't you? She says, yes, I most certainly do. He then shows it off to her for the very first time in this universe. She says, so you're stronger, faster, and it's all from a little spider. And he says, yeah. She's like, so what am I supposed to call you when you're in costume? And he said, that actually came up recently and I have no idea. She says, well, you really do need a code name. And he's like, okay, any ideas? Or, and she says, Peter, and then touches his chest. Isn't it obvious? We then see her holding on to him as he web swings through the city, finally embracing his secret. It wasn't a huge deal that like destroyed the family. Like I think a lot of people were expecting, more accurately dreading. And I love that. I love how quickly it went through. I kind of expected that from Hickman, the way he's been subverting expectations with the series. It's got me incredibly excited for what's to come. I don't know what the series looks like after this point, but I'm super hyped for it. So glad to see the original artist back on this issue too, even though I did end up liking the artist before. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this issue. Let me know if you want me to keep covering the series. Subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, that is the video. Thank you for watching.